Thank you very much to Dr. Kickbush. May I introduce you to our final speaker on this panel, Dr. Beatrice Champagne. Yes, that is her real name. No, she is not here on behalf of Big Alcohol. But Dr. Champagne is going to enlighten us on how we can engage mayors in the NCG action process. Okay. Um, thank you. A pleasure to be here. And yes, I just have that name. They call me Bubbly. <laughs> okay. I, I am part of the Inter American Heart Foundation, and I lead the Healthy Latin American Coalition, which is an alliance that, of about 300 organizations in Latin America whose objective is to strengthen civil society to prevent and control NCDs in our region. I was asked to consider the role that mayors and their cities play in advancing NCD prevention and control and how to encourage their uh, support and participation. In the world, there are about 4,400 cities with population over 150,000 people. And there are 31 mega cities with more than 10 million population. And we're becoming even more urban. So I want to make three points, starting with the role of mayors. Mayors have a significant role to play and are part of the whole of government and whole of society approach. They can advance many of the best buys and other interventions identified by the World Health Organization as effective to reduce NCDs. And these best buys were agreed by member states a few years ago. Mayors are key actors that are able to act and lead when national government cannot, will not, or has not yet acted, and they might amplify the effects locally when national governments have actually acted. Mayors have and have had significant roles in prevention and control of NCDs. Now imagine what we would be like, what the world would be like, if Mayor Michael Bloomberg, former mayor of this great city of New York, would not have taken up tobacco control and obesity prevention. He made his efforts go from the municipal level to the world stage. That is remarkable, and wherever he is, we, I think we should thank him for that. But not all mayors have the opportunities and the personal resources that Mayor Bloomberg has. Yet they have taken up leadership as well. We have some examples from our region, cities like Mexico, Sao Paulo, Buenos Aires, have mayors that supported smoke-free environments, and their action led to their countries becoming more, um, to expanding so, um, smoke-free environments. Many cities are part of networks, uh, such as the Healthy Cities Program of the World Health Organization, also Partners for Healthy Cities, 50 cities that are participants. There are also some other things that cities do that make mayors particularly good actors. They frequently have their own health care services. In Brazil, for example, the, health, the cities have thousands of people engaged in health care services. Mayors have the responsibility for efficient administration of funds of health care services. NCD prevention then strategies are very much a key part of how you might reduce and optimize financial resources in those cities. Cities provide a space for innovation and are closer to the people. They can make it easier um, to take the lead, for mayors to take the lead. How might we encourage them? We can recognize champion mayors. Um, we can build peer-to-peer -peer dialogue. We can establish city-level level urban health commissions that might include people living with NCDs. Helping cities win, even modest, modestly, for example, to reduce air contamination, expand green spaces, improve security, 
um, get healthier foods and water fountains into schools, smoke-free and closed places, greater access, access to equitable health care. Success breeds success, so helping mayors in this direction will really go a long way toward getting these best buys. Second point, and this is, deals with the interference of the unhealthy products industries. They hit cities too. The number one barrier in Latin America for advancing effective policies is the interference of the tobacco, food and beverage, and alcohol industries in the policy development process. Here we have examples of, um, of cities that because they are, they are economically needed, they make, uh, they make, um, um, they have agreements with companies that many times they are really a bad bargain for health in those cities. Um, I think that also we need to consider that there is well-documented history of unhealthy commodity in industry infiltrating public health organizations, not just at the national level, but also at the level of cities, subverting science and interfering with and undermining public health policies to promote health. I think that the high-level commission report talking about a fresh relationship with the private sector, we certainly agree with that, but there is a poor record of when we allow volunteer commitments from the industry. Um, the same principles that apply to tobacco relationships that are uh, framed in, the, in Article 5.3 of the Framework Convention on Tobacco Control could be considered as well for other industries that also have similar unhealthy products. We call on governments to learn from past experiences and adopt effective regulation measures, establishing a strict engagement principles that manage conflict of interest, ensure transparency, and we say no to policy development participation, but yes to policy implementation. Finally, I want to mention accountability, um, whether at the city level or the national level without a strong uh, accountability processes in place. Our greatest strategies are just a nice to have. We need to take a lesson from many existing international treaties that have robust accountability measures that provide for monitoring, feedback, and recommendations for action. They, are also, they also provide for formal and official space for um, civil society to participate. We can also introduce independent accountability measures. And to conclude, um, city mayors and are key actors, and there are many ways to involve them in the NCD movement. Mayors and municipal governments are also affected by a strong interference of the industry in policy development, and accountability must be robust, formal, and official at all levels, including municipal level. Thank you. Thank you very much.